hey guys so welcome back today i'm gonna do kind of a a lore review uh my buddy luke at real and bait and tackle the owner asked me if i would try these out these are savage gear the three and a quarter inch uh version of their the new duratech uh plastic that they're using and so he asked me if i'd try these out these are one eighth of an ounce, um, has a little um, weight on it. And so I'm gonna go ahead and break this out, show you what these things look like. They are really tiny, um, but they are uh, protected really well. So these are made to imitate either a mud crab or a fiddler crab, a little small one. I'm gonna go ahead and put one of these on. Today I'm pairing it with a brand new setup this is a Daiwa BG 2500. I'm using Power Pro uh, 15 pound braid and um, 20 pound floral. This is a seven foot ugly stick elite medium action fast tip rod. Uh, so I just bought this not too long ago because I wanted to have something a little bit lighter. And today I'm gonna need it because this is a one eighth of an ounce that I said and it's really light so to be able to toss it in the wind and to be able to to feel the strikes i'm going to need a lighter setup so i'm going to tie this on with a loop knot and then i'm gonna get busy all right guys so the first thing i do notice is that the the eye for this is really really small it's really tiny and so you you have to make sure there's not much room between the plastic and the eye that may be a good thing because it'll help keep from getting hooked up on the bottom because you know i'm gonna fish here what's that yes can i go down there All right, we're gonna try this again. Pretty nice guy. Um, just got run off by the uh, by the uh, local security here. I have to be 150 feet away from a barge. Didn't know that, but I'm gonna give this a try. Uh, like I was saying, uh, that the eye is pretty small. Hopefully, that's to keep it from getting hung up. That is a very small hook. This is probably. Um, it's much smaller than a one. So uh, we'll see how it works. We know sheep's head have really small mouths. So I like smaller hooks anyway. So we're gonna give it a try and uh, throw it out here along these rocks and see what we can do. So stay tuned. All right, guys, I'm gonna add some Pro Cure to this just to have a little bit of extra, uh, a little bit of extra of something because I've never really thrown this thing before. I've never thrown it at all. So I don't know how it's gonna act. Uh, so what I really wanna check out is how it reacts in the water, whether it sinks slow or not. And so it actually has a pretty good fall rate, as you can see there. Um, you can see it going down pretty quickly. All right, so we're gonna like I said, give this a try and see what we can do. Cast pretty well, that's for sure. And all I'm gonna do is just bounce it across the bottom a little bit. Actually, I'm just gonna drag it. Um, drag it across the bottom. I know I may get hung up a little bit and I may have to reposition, but that's okay. I really wanna see how it settles, how I can feel it on the bottom and all of that. So we're gonna give it a try definitely has a good enough weight that I can feel it on the bottom and I'm even in I'm in 28 feet of water right now so I know it's much um, lower up there and I'm fighting the wind so that's another disadvantage that I'm gonna have today is that I'm gonna have to maneuver uh, this kayak and uh, fight this wind and I know with plastics you know 
I'm on an incoming tide now. So I know that I might not get a lot of bites today, uh, but I'm fine with that. If I can get a couple of bites in here, just to see how this feels, I'll, I'll be happy and satisfied. I'm just gonna let it hit the bottom, let it sit for a second, and then I'm just moving it slightly. And if I see my line moving or my line tighten up, that means there's a fish on, I'm just gonna set the hook. You never know what you'll catch with a crab, because I've caught not only sheep's head, but I've caught snapper, I've caught redfish, um, I've caught snook, black drum. If you saw my video, my most one of my recent videos, you saw I got handled by a black drum. Oh, that's a big fish. Oh my gosh, this is a big fish. Yeah, he took me for a ride. So that was fun though. There's a fish. There's a fish. That was my first bite. Took that one. Wasn't big, but it was a fish. I got a fish on. There's a fish. Oh, I lost him. Well, that was the first fish. So with that first fish, I let it sink and just let it sit there for about 10 seconds. And then I moved it just a little bit and I didn't feel a bite. I just felt weight on the hook. So I knew he was there. So I reeled down. I pulled a little bit more. I could feel the pressure. I set the hook. He took off for a second and then it spit. So the fish like it. That's, that's number one. But number two, is this gonna catch fish because of the small hook? So we'll see. They have other sizes, but we're gonna try this one. I'm gonna keep giving it a try. A little check-in guys. I've only had one solid bite, a fish on, I could feel a fish, and then one other small bite. So I'm still chugging away. Um, because it doesn't mean that the, the fish aren't here. Uh, it's an incoming tide. It's just now starting to move in. So uh, hopefully as it, you know, it's starting to rise up and the water's starting to move, it's gonna make these fish a little bit more active. So I'm gonna stay at it. I'm gonna keep using this thing. Uh, I actually like the way it feels. Uh, it casts pretty easy. I can skip it as well. So I'm gonna keep, keep at it. What I'm doing, like I said, guys, I'm just tossing it out. I'm letting it sit. This water is like super clear right here. So I need to be a little bit further back, um, but I'm just tossing it, letting it sit for a little bit. And then I'm just dragging it or popping it along the bottom uh, every so often. Um, I'm just working it slow because the water is cold. And I know that the fish are here. So that's why I wanted to fish this in this area. Cause I know that there's fish here. Um, and that gave me a better, you know, more confidence to fish it over here. So um, if the fish are ready to eat, they're gonna eat. I would love to be able to sight cast to one of these fish. I may stand up here and see if I can see something. rocks down there man it drops off really quickly right there drops off really quick <clears throat> keep on going through see if we can catch something on the other side of here
there's a fish right there. Oh, it broke off. You gotta be kidding me. Oh man. Well. There we go. One fish on. But he frayed me up. Oh man, he frayed me up big time. Woo. He took me right up underneath of there. There's some pilings that go up in an angle. And when he hit, he just took off. And all this is frayed all the way up. So it was a heavy fish too. Uh, so one crab going, but one solid fish hookup. So we're going to retie guys. And then I'm going to get back at it, see if I can get something on the other side. And like I said, I was pretty confident that I was going to catch something um, here where I just was to the other side. That's where I catch most of my fish over here. So stay tuned. All right, guys. So I've retied. I'm actually using 25 pound mono now. I stepped it up a little bit. It, the water is like super clear, though. So I don't want to go too heavy. Um, if I need to, I'll go up to 30. Um, but uh, right now I just want to try to hang with the 25 to see if this is going to work. I'm going to throw this crab back down there and let's get on them because I'm sure that I'm going to get some more bites here in a second. I'm keep on going through. See if I can catch something on the way. See if I can poach up right here. There we go. Ah, stupid lady fish. Well, this thing will catch ladyfish. So, first fish on the um, the crab. So this is what caught it, ladyfish. You know, that one's tough for me because. Ladyfish eat everything. They absolutely eat everything. But the good thing is I could feel um, how that one hit. And I like it on this rod. That, that felt really good. He hit it twice and then just took off. But I know there's a lot of sheep's head over here, so, and snapper. So I'm gonna keep plugging away. Just keep moving in amongst here. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and call it on the Savage Gear uh, crabs. I kind of like these. The only thing I don't like about it is if it's in windy conditions like this, it's it's tough to, to feel the bite because it is a very light bait. They make bigger ones, and so I would probably go with the larger ones, um, a quarter ounce or uh, a little bit, you know, bigger when it's windy. If it's not windy, this right here would work. So I definitely recommend these things. Uh, I lost one on a fish, you know, you're fishing in heavy cover. So I lost one that way, and then I um, just lost another one just when it was uh got got hung up i do want to thank luke from real man bait and tackle in gibsonton he's the one that gave me these wanted me to try them out 
but you guys have to check out his bait and tackle shop. He took it over a few months ago and has really turned it around. And so I highly, highly, highly recommend if you're going to the Williams boat ramp or somewhere Gibson or South Apollo beach, check out um, Reelerman bait and tackle in Gibson. Luke is a great guy. He's going to hook you up. Um, his shrimp are top notch. Uh, I've never had any issues with his shrimp and he does have fiddler crabs every once in a while. Um, it's tough to get them right now, but when they are abundant, he has them. So check him out. Uh, I'm going to leave a link in the description, uh, all the information, the address and all that down there. So you guys check him out. Thanks for hanging with me. I only caught that one lady fish and uh, hooked that other uh, fish inside. I'm sure it was a sheep's head because I just catch sheep's head in there and it, it felt like it. Do me a favor. If you did like this video, hit that um, thumbs up button and then also uh, subscribe if you never subscribed before and then share my channel so others can see the type of content I'm putting out. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, hanging with me. And remember, God loves you. God bless you. May he keep you. Peace.